All right, welcome. So here's another section four video for CAD gaming uh, case study. So what we're going to do in this one is I'm just going to show you how to get those vendors up and how to t how to edit them and kind of talk to you a little bit uh, maybe why we're putting some of this data in for the vendors. So first of all, to get to our vendors, there's several different ways to get to anything in, in QuickBooks. But one, one easy way to do it is go in here into expenses and there's our vendors right there. Okay, so this is this is a list of our vendors. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick our first vendor that we're gonna edit, which is One Up Web Designs. And we're gonna go ahead and click on them right there. And then as we get in here, we're gonna go ahead and click edit right over here on the top right. And it'll bring up all of the uh, vendor uh, information for this specific vendor. Down here on the bottom, right we're going to enter some information so this is going to be their uh, tax id number there we go i think that's oops, let's make sure to put it we'll put it in the same format that it says in the textbook here there we go just like that and then we're going to click track payments for 1099 so the 1099 really is right if we have a vendor that we're paying and it, it really the, the threshold is six hundred dollars okay so if you if you pay a vendor more than six hundred dollars um and there's a bunch of other things that get into you know related to taxes and whether they're reselling the items you're giving them or that whether you know what the nature of the relationship is but but basically one of the one of the things to note is if you're paying a vendor over six hundred dollars you need to look at and tracking the uh 1099 uh, payments. So what, what 10, a 1099 is, is the IRS requires businesses to report vendors that they pay more than $600 to, right? Where it's not a resale agreement. So for example, if I, if I sell something to a business and they're going to then sell it to a customer, uh, that's the resale, right? If, if I'm uh, paying for services or if I'm selling something as a final good or service to somebody, typically, um, it's viewed as okay like they're um, a, a contractor right a pri private contractor definitely we're gonna issue a 1099 to you um, a lot of times if they if it looks like they're um, yeah whatever whatever we're paying them for right uh, with the IRS wants to know that so they can track and say okay is this uh, payment taxable right not for us we're not gonna pay tax on it necessarily uh, but if we don't have this information, the IRS may require us to withhold tax before we pay them if we're not reporting things correctly. So really, we got to report it correctly. That way, uh, the, that payment is recorded, given to the IRS. The IRS can then turn around and tax, for example, one-up web designs and know that maybe this uh, payment we're making to them, if we're making any payments to them, probably is in the taxable range, right? And so... So anyways, so that's kind of what we're doing. So there is reporting um, uh, capabilities, of course, in most uh, accounting softwares where you can track this and it'll automatically generate that 10, 1099 for you or at least a report to show you how much you need to be issuing that 1099 tax form for. Uh, so uh, the, the other thing here that we're gonna do for these vendors is we're gonna give them a default expense account. So what the default expense account is, is typically when we're um, paying uh, one-up web designs, for example, uh, typically when we're paying them, it's going to be a, right here, it's gonna be advertising and marketing expense, okay? And, and so what, what'll happen is, is then when we pay them, when we do a bill, this account will automatically come up in the bill. And so we don't have to enter it. So this makes data entry a little easier and helps us uh, get those account numbers correct when we're uh, paying our vendors okay so that's one that we're going to be doing uh, we're also going to be doing let's see what's what's another one that we're doing we're doing uh, three more that we're going to be doing here so um, let me I'll do these really quick and then we'll sign off
All right, so that's all three of them. We walk through there, and they have all the information in now, and so we're pretty much done. After having done that, we're pretty much done with our section four. So thanks for hanging in there, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and we'll help you. Thanks, bye.